Angela Nichols and Amelie Thurman from the French and the US national female lineups. I miss the whole dramatic stories of round eight. What happened? Can can you can you tell me? We decided round eight didn't even happen. Yeah. We've erased it same from our memory. Exactly. The same for us. So you're not gonna tell you're not gonna tell us any of it? <laughs> Come on, let, let's start let's start with the Golden Knights. What happened, Angela? Uh, we just had a rough start to that round, but uh, by the end we powered through, but we already sorta of had a whoopsie in the beginning. And, and, by, and by coincidence it happened at the same time? Exactly, we have a super good start and then a small things make us doing some strange thing and we have a few bursts. It was uh, totally bleeding with zero on the screen, <laughs> so it was horrible to see, uh, but then at the end the fight is yeah. still on. It's so still so who, who was crying? I heard there were tears flowing and all kind of dramatic uh, things that I missed too. Uh, I no, it was not really crying. Uh, Perrin was there, uh, telling to uh, everyone, "I'm going to cry. It's horrible. Uh, we're gonna have a super bad round." And then we saw their round, and we saw our round. It was the same score, and she was, "Oh, I'm not crying. I'm not crying." <laughs> <laughs> so, no, no. so it's still a one-point game now. One-point game. Well, yeah. we kind of discuss yes. the next but. round, and we think we might be tied. So maybe yeah. the drum was even bigger. Yes, exactly. And, it, and we start the game all over again. Okay, for the well, end of the yeah. fantastic. Thank you very much for sharing that with us. Thanks, guys. Good luck and have Bye -bye. fun. I think yeah, and also training, uh, he made uh, good, he's a my good coach in uh, volleyball, so I learned a lot about him. What about Farha? I think uh, he's a good coach. I think he's a good coach. I think he's a good coach. I think he's a good You just bought my drop zone, yeah? Maybe a little. Well, I've heard you. Which you don't want to do? Can I do a brother? Hopefully, wow, fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, from here live at the volleyball court. Thank you. We'll see you later. Thank you. Big round of applause. Thank you. Big round of applause. I'm sure, I'm sure, but now I think it's a Steve. Steve Hamilton, we have here at the end of, uh, of um, what is it, Tuesday, Wednesday, something. Uh, Tuesday, <laughs> Difficult to remember, well, in yeah. Long, yeah. yeah, long day. So. Polaris coach and. Um, Polaris had an incredible round seven, tied the top scorers, you know, the high score for the round has never happened before. That's right, yeah, I mean, the, the girls had a, a pretty much perfect jump, um, you know, it was the, the best score we could get out of it, and the other two teams both had uh, some little glitches during theirs, so, yeah, very happy to, to get that score, it was great for us. Are they excited? Very, yeah, I mean, we're, we're right where we hoped we would be. Um, kind of an interesting competition for us because the other two teams are pretty far ahead. The next place teams are, you know, pretty far behind, but we're trying to uh, trying to stay motivated and two more nice rounds to come. Well, you you had in the beginning, you know, the illusions kept up for a little bit, so it looked like there would be competition, but it just shook them off. Yeah, I mean, it, uh, coming into this competition, as we said in the land, it was kind of unknown territory. We didn't know where the, the where the Russian girls would be, uh, the British girls, the German girls. Um, so, yeah, it was you know in the beginning of the, of the competition, we weren't sure where we would be standing, but. I guess you know the girls have trained hard. They've put in a lot of uh, a lot of work this year, so it's obviously paying off for us. So now it must feel like two more years, two more. <laughs> you, you, you tied the top, you know, the top of the world uh, in one round. I can imagine that. Well, what is, are there any thoughts about that? 
you know, I mean, I'm sure the girls have their own uh, their own ideas for what they they all want to do next year. And uh, I remember with our teams, we used to have a 30-day cooling off period. We'd say, you know, at the end of a world meet, you, if you have a great meet, you want to sign up tomorrow. If you have a bad meet, everyone wants to go home. So I think having a month break is uh, is the way to go. That's what I've advised the girls. But who knows? I mean, of course, it would be great to see uh, see them come back for another two. Well, two. One more day, two more runs tomorrow. Great day for Polaris. Thank you very much, Steve, and good luck for the rest. All right, cheers. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Solly Williams. Joey Jones, Joey, what's going on? We are watching round... We are watching the judging of round eight. We are about halfway through. We're waiting for Airspeed, Hayabusa and the French and some of the other top teams. Um, VFS is finished, wrapped up. Um, pretty good story, huh, Solly? What do you think of the VFS? Well, I, I think you can draw a parallel between the VFS and the females because at some stage both teams are landing thinking that they've made really bad jumps only to find out that the opposition has also had a really down jump and uh, so it's keeping it exciting here at least. Although France, uh, Fr France and, and VFS had a real comeback, right? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, they, there was a 10-point swing and then three jumps, but uh, they just kept the pressure on the Dubai team, and they the Dubai team cracked. I mean, it's yeah, yeah they the French team showed their experience. Huh? I mean, at the end they, they came through, but uh, you know I think they admitted it themselves. There were a lot of nerves in there because they were having a couple of mistakes on the way through to pulling it back. But uh, compliments to them. They they will champions again. Again, yeah, yeah again. What about eight way? Well, I think... Uh, Put your money on something? Yeah, the team that's four points up with two jumps <laughs> to go. Yeah, that's, that's an easy bet, huh? <laughs> yeah, no surprises there. But no, I think uh, it'll be interesting to watch because there's going to have to be... Hopefully the, the Knights will just play, play their game and, and not look back and just do what they're best at. And uh, that's just showing what they've trained all year. But I think the French are going to obviously go for it. They're going to have to. There's nothing left for them to lose, you know. So it, It'll be interesting to see if they can pull something out. I mean, today we had 20s and 28s. They tied on both jumps. French were a little ahead on one, Knights were ahead on the other, but uh, I think it's time for the French to just send it. So let's see what happens. It's pretty interesting. Actually, Fr France won three rounds, Golden Knights won only two rounds, the rest is tied. And they're up with that. Okay, next event, what, what, uh, what do we have? The girls. Um, the female event, what a, what a round seven we just had. Um, the Norgies had a really beautiful 21, and um, we were really curious to see what the French and uh, U.S. did. Um, Solly, you want to tell about everybody? Well, <laughs> I, well I kind of walked up to, to, to see uh, both teams obviously looking very anxious. They knew that they'd had bad jumps, but we were just joking just now. They both went and did round eight, not knowing what had happened in round seven. So they probably had to keep on their poker faces out at the boarding area, knowing that they'd had a bad jump and they were probably <laughs> just trying to... The yeah, teams, yeah. yeah. Interesting. they were in front of the scoreboard here and they both teams were just completely shocked that they both had bad jumps and ended up tie again. Yeah, the, the, the French girls said it's that they've lost the meet, and they're like, uh, they get some teary eyes, and, and then when they saw the U.S.'s jump, they, they also had teary eyes, but in a different way, because it was both 21s, and both jumps were less than, than what they were shooting for. Right, right. Sure. And, and the French boys are really out of the race, are they? Yeah, I saw them before they did their round eight, and they said, no, they had a bad round seven. And having watched the video, it doesn't look that bad, but it obviously didn't get going inside the team. They knew they didn't do a great jump. And uh, so it's up to Hayabusa and Airspeed at this stage, I think. They're going to see... Two-point uh, two race for Hayabusa and Airspeed, and the French are down four from that, correct? I think more now. More now? Yeah. yeah, it's yeah I, I might be wrong, but isn't it yeah. six or seven? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's, we're, yeah. we're going to watch round eight, and we'll be back with yeah, more NSL right. TV. We're going we're to finish it up later on with a few more minutes on NSL TV. Now you do that so well, Joey. I already did it. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. See you.